In some of my videos on servicing the Shimano Alfine and Nexus hubs, I've indicated that the right side bearing cone should never be removed without use of the special Shimano tool. I will now attempt to explain why. The required tool is Shimano part number TL8S11. To access the cone, first remove the lock nut, the stop washer, the lock washer, and the driver plate. Pay particular attention to the orientation of the driver plate, as there's only one right way for it to go on. When the removal tool is properly positioned on the axle, the shoulder will be butted against the shift drive key. The shift key holds the shift spring assembly together when the impact required to release the drive side cone is applied. With the outer edges of the driver supported in the open jaws of a vise, strike the tool until the axle is released. Be sure to hold the axle so it does not fall. Now let's take a look at what could happen should you attempt to remove the cone without this tool. The shift spring subassembly is an assemblage of small parts that is not intended to be serviceable. Here's a closer look at the shift key that holds this assemblage together. If you've ever installed a hammerhead on a hammer handle, you'll understand the forces involved when you strike on the handle. The hammerhead tends to draw up. The same thing happens with the shift spring assembly if the shift key is not held in place while hammering on the axle. As I said before, this part is not meant to be serviceable. No manual exists for reassembling. To reinstall the cone, it's necessary to use Shimano part number TL8S20 to ensure that the cone is driven on straight and securely. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Here's more videos you may enjoy.